Hi guys, Kevlar here. We're back in PC Building Simulator 2. Again, trying to do a build to replicate my personal PC. We did a build back when the game was originally released. I'll link the video up the top there. And we were a little bit disappointed because uh, we had done this in PC Building Simulator 1 as well. And I didn't think our build in PC Building Simulator 2 was any better. We're a bit disappointed with the range of components, but there's been quite a few updates since then. And one exciting thing that I was really hoping for in this version that we didn't have at the start was the custom cables. Sadly, it doesn't look like I saved it back then, so I haven't got my build that I did before. So we will start from scratch. Right, so let's find a bench to do our build on. Right, how do I start building? I can't remember. It's got to be a menu button, right? I need to go to my tablet. I look, custom cables. I won't look at them yet till we start building the PC. But right, where do I get my parts from? It's in this room. Aha, inventory, so I have to come here. Right, so let's start off with a case. Am I being blind? I can't see a case here. Case storage? Oh, case storage. Right, so let's see. Search for Corsair. Okay, so I've got the 5000D. Now, I have a feeling it did have my case before. No, it didn't. I think the closest thing is the 5000T. So we'll have to go with that. Right, so case. Let's go and stick this on a workbench. There we go. So we've got our case. Install. Right, so now I can pick up parts from here. Good. Right, so let's start off with the motherboard. So I've changed my motherboard since. So it's a gigabyte. It's the Aero G, the X570. So let's have a look. What have we got? There's an X570 Gaming X, but it's black. Mine's got white bits on it. It's an X590 Vision G, which kind of looks the closest. Ah, oh, this one kind of looks close to mine because I've got loads of like cover bits covering, but mine's got white. So if we want to go with a white theme, I think. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's an Aero D, uh, but that's DDR5. So yeah, that looks like mine, but mine's DDR4. I mean, the vision looks quite close, actually. I think maybe this is the closest looking one because of all the white and no RGB. Let's go with that then. Oh, it's a tiny one. Okay, no, no, that's, that's way too small. We don't want that. Let's remove it. Right, so I think this is going to be our next closest one. There you go, yeah, full size. Yeah, it's close enough. I just don't have the uh, the RGB lights, but other than that, it looks pretty similar. Oh, hang on, no, this is a um, this is an Intel one. Oh dear, not doing very well. Let's remove that. Right, so we need an X570. Uh, was there a white X570? Okay, no, I think we might have to go with the Aurorus Elite or the Aurorus Ultra. Let's go with the Aurorus Ultra. So it's an X570, so at least we got the right chipset, but it's the wrong colour and the wrong board. Right, not going well. Right, let's find the CPU. Um, so I have upgraded my CPU since as well. So I did have a Ryzen 7 5800X, but now we're on the Ryzen 9 5900X. There we go. Let's open that. Stick the CPU in and close it. Excellent. Okay, right. Let's stick some RAM in there. Right, so Corsair, I think I've upgraded my RAM since. So I have got 3600 megahertz. Right, yep, yeah, so this is the right one. Vengeance RGB Pro, 3600 megahertz, and I've got 32 gigs of that. So four sticks. Let's stick some of those in. Let's open all of them up. Zoom in a bit. Right, let's install our RAM. Oh, I'm going to have to do it each time. Okay, another one. Install RAM. Another one. Install RAM. There we go. So we've got our RAM in. So let's stick our M.2. So good. This has got how many M.2 slots? Three. Now the reason I went for my motherboard, the Aero, is because it's got four slots. I'm saving all my video recordings. So I've got four M.2s. So we'll just stick three in there then. So let's open all of these drive bays. Is that open? Yeah. Right, so let's see what have we got. Storage. I think I got Samsung. I don't have Samsung. Right, so we know we want the M.2 format. I've got two two terabytes of Samsung something. It doesn't really matter. Let's just stick a two terabyte in. Let's go with this one. Stick that in there. 
do another one in there. Then I think I've got two one terabytes, but because we've only got one more slot, we'll just stick one more in there. Let's close that one and close that one. Close that one. There we go. So we have got six terabytes in there, but I also have an SSD, just a standard SSD. So let's just put SSD in. Is it going to give us anything? Yeah, here you go. Um, so I've got WD Blue. Let's see if they've got WD or Western Digital. No. Okay, so we just want a one terabyte. So let's try one terabyte. Let's just use Gigabyte then. And this is going to go at the back. There we go. Right, let's remove this case part. Um, I can't remove it. What do I need to unscrew? Do I need to do it from the back? Ah, let's take this front off. Let's just remove everything because uh, I plug those. Why oh, can't I remove that? There you go. Now, can I remove this? Maybe from the front? Is it because the fans are in the way? Let's take the fans out. There you go, remove that. Cool, so let's stick all our fans in. So, install. So, what have I got? I've got Corsair, let's go case fans again. I've got a lot of Corsair stuff, haven't I? Corsair, I believe I've got the ML, and I think we had a problem that we didn't have the MLs in here last time. Nope, so they're white, and they're 120s. So, we can either go with the QLs, or the LLs, and the QLs look closer because they haven't got grey in the middle. So, we'll go with the QLs. I've got shitloads of these, so let's just stick loads of them in. I've got the three at the back there, one exhaust fan, got them all at the front here. There we go. Now let's put our cooler in. Right, what do I need to remove to take this out? Can't remove that, can't remove that. Is this in the way? Move the dust panel first? Oh really? Let's just remove all of that shit. Right, okay. Right, so let's put our cooler in. And again, they didn't have my cooler last time from memory. So again, Corsair. Okay, this is what I've got, but I've got it in white. Why haven't they got it in white? It's so easy just to add the white version. So let's search for white. Yeah, again, I think we ended up going for this in the last build. So let's, let's do that. So stick that in. So we're still not doing very well fans are different and you can't change the fans on here so I've got the Corsair fans on the white cooler okay let's go with the power supply oh you know what I might remove this because we didn't put any uh, thermal paste down stick our thermal paste on first uh, let's just type in paste thermal oh hang on that looks nicer ah shouldn't have just searched for white so snow edition yeah we'll go for that one um, do you not need to put the thermal paste in anymore? Tools. There you go. So why didn't that come up? Let's put a big blob on there. Not enough thermal paste. That's about as much as I usually put in. There you go. Okay, good. Now let's install that cooler. So let's just scroll. Just in case there's any other white ones that doesn't say white in the title. So we need a three fan one. So we've got the thermal take one. That one, it's got the black in it, don't like it. Then that's the one that we did pick up. Yeah, okay. Let's go with the thermal take one. Just because it looks the closest, I guess, with all, all white. Okay, cool. Right, I think we're on to power supply. Let's see if they've got EVGA. I think they had it last time, yeah. So, it's close enough. I've got an 850 watt. Um... I think one's called the G5. Yeah, it's a Supernova G5. Um, so let's just go with this T2 then. Stick that in there. Right. I think it's plugged everything in for me. Uh, now, if we go around the back, I mean, all of these fans should be plugged into a controller. Um, but they're not. Well, I seem to remember they all just worked last time. I feel like that's kind of everything apart from now. Custom cables. I think this is going to be the only bit that is actually going to be different. So let's see. Uh, okay, so far these look like the standard ones that were there before. Okay, this is not looking good. Come on, I'm, I'm sure it was uh, the update had the 
but the LED cables. Maybe they're somewhere else. Hang on. I saw it somewhere else, didn't I? So maybe we need to go to our... Here we go. Custom cables. The custom cables app allows you to create your own unique set of cables using a range of different colours, mix and match. Ah, oh, no. I thought when I saw this that they were going to be the actual LED cables, like the Leon Lee strimmers that I've got. All right, let's just give it a multicoloured look. At least it's going to be closer to what we've got. Oh, that's really frustrating. I really thought this update was going to be like the proper LED cables. So really, this is not going to work out much better than what we had before. Step three, name your set of cables. Uh, so that's the motherboard. Let's just call it the Lee and Lee Grimmer. That's what it's supposed to be. Add to basket. Okay, now let's do some eight pins. I mean, we need three eight pins for our GPU. Oh, we haven't put our GPU in yet, have we? Okay, let's go green and yellow for this one. So that's going to be GPU only one. The basket. What did I just do there? Green and yellow. So blue and orange. GPU only two. And then red. Oh, I think I did pink, didn't I? But that's not going to look very good. So let's go greeny. So that's going to be GPU Liam Lee 3. To basket, check out. Let's buy all of those. Good, so hopefully they're in our stock somewhere. So they might be just in my storage when I go to uh, connect it. But we need to put our GPU in. How did I forget the GPU? Right, install. Now they did have our GPU last time. Let's see if they've still got it. So EVGA RTX. Let's see what we've got. 3080, 3080 XC3 Ultra Gaming. Is that the right? No, it's the for the win. That's it for the win. Three Ultra Gaming. Yeah, 3080. Stick that in. There we go. That's in. Right. So custom cables. So let's see if we can install cables. Um, custom cable set GPU Lee and Lee what? 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 Look at them all. They're all called, but they're all just black. Oh, here you go. I oh, know that's the Leon Lee Streamer motherboard one. Let's go install this one. Oh man, it's so shit. So disappointed. Okay, let's remove these. That is no better than what we had before because they were kind of like rainbow stupid cables anyway. Right, so. Where's my multicolored GPU cables that I did? Let's just type in Lee and Lee because uh, it's going to be all the ones that I did. So yeah, GPU, three, 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 motherboard, motherboard. So why aren't they colored? Let's just see. Okay, they are colored. Okay. And then number three, flat ribbon. Ah, oh, that's it's so disappointing. So that's kind of all we can do, right? Can I actually connect these fans? Yeah, okay. So is everything connected? I think it connected everything automatically. Okay, let's put our side panel on. Okay, um, I think we just need to put our USB drive in to install Windows and shit. Whoops, what did I just do? Did I just take the front panel off again? Didn't mean to do that. Side panel, should I say? Let's turn it on. Power. Oh my god. Well, it's lighting up. Um, so now we need to go into the software. So let's add our RGB software. Lighting. Good. And let's have a look. We need to change it all to rainbow. Not rainbow. Yeah. Yeah, the flow. So I think we need to slow that down. Right, okay. Uh disappointed so yeah um, right disappointed with the update then I was expecting it was going to be RGB cables when it said custom cables and I saw the picture to me I thought that was going to be custom cables as in proper RGB cables so yeah disappointing update for me I haven't been able to do anything better than before so yeah, if we put them side by side, I think in the last video I did side by side of PC Building Simulator 1, then 2, so we'll do all three. So we'll look at 
number one, number two, and number three all together and compare them. Right, here we are. We've got the newest build on the left, the first attempt in PC Building Simulator 2 in the middle, and PC Building Simulator 1 on the right. So we know that RGB looks definitely better on the PC Building Simulator 2, but really there's no difference, is there, between my first attempt and my second attempt in PC Building Simulator 2. Even the custom cables don't look any different. I think they're probably a little bit clearer in the second attempt. So I do think those custom cables make the cables a little bit thicker, but they're still just thin, colourful cables and not RGB cables. I feel like the lighting in the newest one lights up the inside of the case a little bit more, but other than that, there's really no different. As we concluded from the first one, the PC Building Simulator 1 actually had the correct case, so we've got the right case there. So we don't have my real case in PC Building Simulator 2. But yeah, disappointing, it always makes this video really pointless because there's no different at all from my first attempt, but I'm putting it out there so we can see how little the update has actually made. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please do give us a like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.